Hello and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. That's BlenderTEK.com. Don't forget to remember, create your way. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create these little turbine or fan blades here. I don't see a lot of videos of these on YouTube or any other sites. So it seems like something that maybe people have problems with. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this today. Don't forget to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, and programming videos. The team here tries to add between 3 to 10 a day. Now the most common way that I see people model things like airplane propellers and stuff like this is using tools such as the loft tool. There is easier ways to do this though and that's what we're going to show you. So let's start up a new blender file. So let's get rid of the camera so it's not in our way. And from top orthographic mode, let's just add a simple mesh circle. And this is going to be the start of basically the hub. So we want 36 vertices. Depending on the amount of blades that you want, you're going to want to choose the number of vertices. But I found 36 creates the shape that you saw before. You're going to want a number divisible by 2, I believe. So now we're going to move into edit mode. We're going to take our circle and we're going to extrude it up along the Z. I find about 0.25 works with the stock circle. Now we're going to select all. So now we're going to hit E to extrude as if you're doing something like this. But instead of clicking somewhere, just right click to leave it where it is. Now we've created extra geometry and we're going to scale this out. So this creates, like I said, kind of our little hub. And as you can see, it is slightly curved and that's what we want. If you want a flat hub, you can always scale it in just the X and Y directions and not the Z. And now what we're going to do is we're simply going to go into face mode. I'm going to turn off x-ray mode so that I don't select anything wrong and select every second face. These are going to become your fan blades and we're selecting every second by holding down shift and right clicking on every second face but we're selecting every second so that each one in between becomes a space in between our blades so there we go we have every one selected now again we're going to hit E to extrude and we're going to leave it right there to create extra geometry and we're going to scale it outwards as big as you want your blades to be. I'll create something like that. Let's say 2 times. Uh, let's go 2.5. I can't see. I don't have my keyboard lights on. There we go. Now I can see. It's the middle of the night here in Canada and I can't sleep, so I thought I'd just throw up a quick tutorial. So we've got our basic fan shape here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Edge Select and we're going to select all the top edges. Make sure you haven't selected any extra edges by accident. You should have half of your total number of vertices. So I've got 18 selected. That'd be half of 36. And so what we're going to do is we're simply going to rotate them. You get to choose the amount you want, but I find somewhere around negative 10 degrees, or you can go plus 10 depending on the amount of rotation you want to your blades and then scale along the Z zero that'll flatten them out so what I did there is I hit S Z zero in fact let's turn on screen keys and do that again alright so undoing that what I did is with all edges selected, I simply rotated about negative 10 degrees and then I scaled along the Z axis and hit zero and that flattens them all out. And now we just select the opposite. We select all the bottom lines. So there we go, we have 18 selected again. 
And this time we're going to rotate them the other direction. So instead of doing negative, we're going to do positive. So I'm going to do about 10 degrees again. And then again, we're going to go scale Z zero. That'll flatten them out while keeping them rotated. Now, if you go from top view, you can see that we have our basic fan shape. But our fan edges are quite, well, ugly basically so the fastest way to create your fan shape and I know this is a cheap trick but just add a subdivision surface modifier turn it up to about three or four and if we go into object mode we have our basic shape if you wanted to add a hub you'd go back into edit mode and then you could select these edge loops here holding down shift and alt and right clicking on them and you could extrude them and then right click and scale them in. Whoops. Scale them in and click to confirm. And as you can see, it's a nice dish shape to keep everything curved. That's the way I want it. You would think of the air kind of flowing around and in. But if you want it flat, again, you can always just scale it in two axes and not, not the last. And now if you have edge loop tools enabled, if you don't, go into your user preferences and make sure you have the add-on enabled. But with edge selected, go into W for specials and loop tools and hit bridge and that will fill in all the gaps here in the middle. And now if we turn our subsurf back up, let's go to about 5 just to make it nice and good looking. It's going to slow your computer down because we now have... Uh, about 1.3 million vertices but as you can see we have our basic fan shape here now if you want a more aggressive shape you can add mean creases in certain places and you can also adjust the angles that you rotated the blades if you want less blades obviously you'd create less vertices or you'd select say every third or fourth edge when you were extruding the blades out and again you can also play with um, the hub here you could create a flat part and then have it curve in for example right here this is really curved that wouldn't be a very good place for a for a hub to go if you had a cylinder going through so with the edge loop selected I would add a mean crease all the way to one and do the same for the bottom all the way to one the hotkey for that is shift and E and then drag out. And now when we add our subsurf, you can see that it's totally flat. So there you have it. That's your simple turbine or propeller blade. Thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, and programming videos. We try to add from 3 to 10 a day. If you dislike this video for some reason, please leave a comment or email the team at info at blendertech.com as to what you did not like and what we can improve on. We also take requests for tutorials, so let us know what you want or want more of. See you next time, and remember, create your way.